So in this new series on my channel, I'll be looking at the team of the week from the first round of fixtures in the Premier League. Now guys, this isn't anything to do with FIFA, except I did it, you know, using a squad creator in order to show you guys who my team of the week is. And on the player, the stats are up to what I think they should be if they were made an informed guard on FIFA. They aren't actually informed guys, these are just my opinions on the players that stood out for me in the first round of fixtures. Now, let's start in goal, and we have David De Gea. Now, I think that if he wasn't in goal, Man United would have lost to Everton by more than just one goal. He made a few really great saves, and I thought that he kept them in the game for most of it, until, unfortunately, he conceded from the header. Now, in the left-back position, we have John Arnrisa. He provided the first assist for Damien Duff's goal against Norwich, which was a 60-yard ball, I think. It was amazing. If you guys haven't seen it, you should watch it. And he also just generally had a really good performance. And so the first centre-back is Chico, the Spanish Swansea player who just joined. I think he made the most number of blocks or interceptions or something this week. But, you know, he basically just kept QPR out of the Swansea penalty box. Now the next centre-back, I had trouble choosing from Jaggy Elka and Distin. But I chose Distin overall because I just thought he had a really calm game. He seemed so composed, relaxed. He kept Man United quiet so well, which is so hard to do. In the right back position we have Ivanovic, he had a really well taken goal and uh, yeah he just had an all round solid performance. Moving on to his Chelsea teammate now in the left wing position we have Eden Hazard. I mean lots of people after his community shield appearance were thinking that you know he's not going to succeed in England. But I think he showed that he's got so much power and pace and he got two assists in the game against Wigan which is why I put him in my team of the week. The next player is Sam in Nasri. He looked great the whole game. He helped to win the penalty with his cheeky flick to David Silva. And then he scored the winning goal. And, you know, he just looked great all game. And as you can see, our next player is Orange. And that's because he has been my standout player for the week. And so I've decided that, you know, the best player, in my opinion, I'll make an orange card just for show. And so my player of the week is Michu. I thought he had an excellent debut performance. Two really well taken goals and an assist, and he was in my fantasy team, who's complaining. And I think he's got lots to offer to the Premier League guys, so watch out for him. On the right wing now, we have Nathan Dyer. Um, pretty self-explanatory, really. Scored two goals, had a pretty good performance all around, yeah. And so now we'll move on to our strikers. First off, we have Mladen Petric, scored two, assisted one. Generally a great performance, and yeah, pretty happy about that. I think his assist just shows the class he has, and I think there's lots to come from him. And now deservedly up top to accompany Petric in my team of the week is Fellaini. He played as a striker, and I can see why. He caused the United defence so many problems. If you can cause the United defence problems, such as Vidic, you know, even though they didn't have their full strength squad, he was just unbelievable. Next, I've chosen my manager of the week, and I've picked Martin Yol, uh, just because, you know, Clint Dempsey said he didn't want to play for Fulham anymore, and I think he handled the situation really well. Martin Yole didn't include him in the squad, and you know, the players who he picked did the job really nicely. And so, onto the bench now. Now, what I have done, you might have noticed that these players are green. Well, basically, these are my flops of the week. And so, we'll start off with Carrick. Now, he had to play centre-back, which isn't his preferred position. However, he just could not handle Fellaini, and it was his lack of marking that led to Everton's first goal. Next, we have David Silva. I thought he had a shocker of a game. I mean, he missed a half-open goal. He just got completely outshined by Nasri, in my opinion. He just didn't live up to his magician price tag that was set on him last year. The next player, Dean Whitehead. I don't know, I just threw him in here because he gave away a penalty. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> The next player, Onuoho, QPR had an absolute shocker, so I thought I had to have at least a QPR defender in here, and I chose him mostly because he gave the ball away for Swansea's fifth goal, and he just didn't look that great overall. Olivier Giroud makes a cut of flops because it was his debut, and he missed an absolutely great chance to put Arsenal ahead and to win the game. I mean, I hate to say this, guys, but Van Persie would have scored it. Luis Suarez is next up, and he just had an awful game. As you can see here, I made him have 59 shooting because it seemed as if he couldn't shoot for shit in the latest game. 
I mean, he practically missed an open goal with that header. To be fair to him, he seemed really sharp all round. He had great play, his dribbling was superb. However, he just couldn't shoot. Finally on my list of flops this week is Federici. He had the most clean sheets in the championship. However, he conceded a really soft goal this week by just diving over it. Anyway, guys, that concludes my team of the week from the first opening fixtures of the Premier League. I thought it was a really exciting week. Some great games, big upsets, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there were a few players who might have made it into the team of the week, such as Santi Cazorla or Ben Arthur, but what variations or changes would you have made? Let me know in the comment section below, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This has been Curry from Mario. Peace.